This is Scott from KIG. It's January 7th, 2015, and this is a uh, nice little coolant coolers 3 ton air cooled chiller that just came in and just sold. Um, has zero hours on it, uh, never used, but we wanted to power it up and make sure everything was okay. It's the uh, model KV3000, KV serial number 27629, a 230, uh, 230 volt unit. Uh, we can run, the way this one's configured, we can run this with the covers off. Um, we do have the both air filters right here. Just happens to be leaning up against a much bigger uh, chiller we have here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, simply power the unit on. In this case here, it's got a remote and a local button. Uh, we already, the uh, control cabinet's on the inside, and we just went ahead and we, we tripped or turned on the... Um, uh, turned on the breaker there, and you have an overload for the uh, pump slash fans, and also the uh, compressor in here. Pretty simple design, really nice design actually. A nice oversized two horsepower pump and a Sanyo three and a half horsepower scroll compressor. We can go ahead and uh, turn this unit on. Now it has a nice simple Ranco controller. We went ahead in there, and if you take off these four screws. Uh, there's a switch in there. We put it on lock, and so after after you set the controller, uh, which we did to 45 degrees Fahrenheit, you can go in and press lock. Uh, so none of these buttons are active right now. It's basically going to chill down to 45 and stop. Um, when you do have that unlocked, you can also go in and change the differential. We have it at three degrees Fahrenheit. So that means this chiller will stop at 45F, then come up to 48 and turn back on. Uh, it's got a nice reservoir tank with a submerged coil heat exchanger in there. This is your high pressure switch. That's your low pressure switch. Scroll compressor with heater. And a two horsepower uh, marathon process pump. This is a positive solenoid shut off for the refrigerant. This is your dryer water pump gauge. And we just have a loop here. We're running a glycol mix for shipping. We're going to take off those fittings and put it in a box. We're also, in addition to draining the uh, unit, uh, underneath here, right about where my finger is, there's a 17 millimeter bolt drain plug. We're going to take that out. We're going to put it in a plastic bag and put it inside the uh, control cabinet here. Right now, so I think we started at about 69 or 70. I'm going to show you, I'm show you chilling down to 45, 45 hours. So the way this is pumped is, or the pipe, I'm sorry, the suction side of your pump is evacuating the reservoir tank. Then it's going out your process, then back into your process into the tank. This here is a water bypass. If you do have a problem with flow, like for example, if you have too little, uh, if your process lines are too small, uh, you can open this up such that there's enough flow coming through the tank. We'll come back to video number two in a second. 